in the workplace, there's always someone else who is involved, someone we report to, a customer for our work. That customer has a concern, something they care about that they want us to take care of for them. And as the performer, the work we do is directed towards taking care of that concern so that it becomes something that we both care about. Much of the time, our boss, as the customer for our work, has done the preparation and has a clear idea of what her concern is. It might be hitting production targets, publishing the weekly sales report by noon tomorrow, or ensuring that the payroll is processed by close of business on Friday. How she wants that concern taken care of is summed up in what we call the conditions of satisfaction, and they form the basis of the request that she makes of us. There may be a negotiation phase in which you have a couple of options, making a counteroffer, committing to commit, declining the request, or agreeing to the request. We'll come back to declining, but for now, let's say that you promise to take care of the request to publish the sales report by noon tomorrow. Well, the result is actually two mutual promises. You are promising to take care of your boss's concern by doing what is needed to publish the report by noon, and she, as the customer for your work, is promising to be satisfied if you achieve that and you complete it in the usual way to your usual standard. The next phase is execution, where you go and, and do the work, providing updates as required, and where your boss might provide her feedback on your apparent progress or the content of the report. Let's imagine at the 10 a.m. meeting the next day, you provide the final draft to her for review and approval, which she does, and before you head out for an early lunch, you send a quick email saying the report has been published to the usual website. This is what we call asserting completion, letting your customer know that you believe you have finished the work. At about 3 p.m., your boss has a chance to check her email, clicks on the link that you thoughtfully provided, and finds the sales report is there with all the expected content and a timestamp of 11.45am. She composes a quick email that simply says, Thanks, great work again this week. That is what we call a declaration of satisfaction, and it completes the loop of the conversation for action. Now, you can use that loop to think through any work that you need to do. It works equally well for offers as it does for requests, although... In that case, it's the performer who needs to do some thinking about what their customer cares about before making their initial offer.